Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into the top three favorite or best screwdriver organizers of my opinion. So after I drop my three favorites, let me know in the comments something else that you think might be a good contender. Also, if you haven't checked out my previous video like this, I did my top five socket organizers. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. If you did, I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is just another video like that. So I'm gonna go into two of the styles that I really don't care for and then get into the three that I do like and then I'll show you the ones that I own and uh, why I chose those. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I also wrote down some pros and cons to each one. I'll give you the pricing and I'll throw up pictures of each one as well. So the ones I don't like now, sometimes when you buy screwdrivers, they either come just the screwdrivers themselves or sometimes they come with an organizer. Sometimes they're good organizers and they keep them pretty compact and well organized. Sometimes they're not durable and sometimes they just take up a lot of space. So whether you have one that takes up a lot of space or isn't durable or your screwdrivers just didn't come with an organizer, these are some other routes that you could go. But getting into the ones I don't like, one called the tool sorter, and I'll throw a picture up in here. I had this at one point from JEGS, and when I first started getting tools, this wasn't bad because I had a very small set. I actually had the JEGS screwdrivers, so there, it wasn't a very large set, and it, it, it actually held them pretty well. But once I started growing and getting better tools, I realized it just wasn't fit for my needs, and it just wasn't very useful. Other than that is the Ernst Gripper set, and it's a very small rail. It's very affordable, so if you're not looking at spending a whole lot of money, then this could be a route you go. I just find it to be really grabby because it's like a rubber plastic material and you slide your screwdrivers in there. And it can just kind of be a pain and it doesn't sit real well. So like when you go to grab a screwdriver, it might pick the whole rail up or holder up. So that's something I really don't care for either. So getting into the first of my favorite organizers, that is going to be the Ernst rail set. Now, this could be an issue if you don't have a lot of screwdrivers. This rail system holds 20 screwdrivers per, so it does hold a large amount of screwdrivers. But if you, let's say you only have eight screwdrivers, then it might not have enough weight on the rail system that it might fall over or might not stay as organized as you would like. But if you have you know 12 or more screwdrivers, it's got enough weight on it that holds it in place really well. But the other route you could go, if you don't have a lot of screwdrivers, but you like this rail system, you can get it with three different backings. No backing at all. The magnetic backing, uh, which isn't gonna work through the liners, but if you have just a metal drawer, it'll work well through, through that. And then you can also get a tape backing as well. So if you're worried about them tipping over or anything like that, those are three different options. You also have a couple different color options as well, so that's nice if you want to separate your screwdrivers Phillips from flathead or maybe you have Torx and Allen uh, screwdrivers as well, that's a possibility as well. But once again, the con being the sturdiness if you don't have that many screwdrivers. And that system is going to run $12. So I think it's very affordable and a really decent screwdriver organizer. Moving on to the second one that I selected and that is the toolbox widget. So the Ernst rail system that I just spoke of was the cheapest option from the three. And this toolbox widget is the most expensive. So the downside to this is each set only supports eight screwdrivers. So you get a lot less holders or a lot less screwdrivers being able to be hold, held by this set than the previous one stated. But the great thing about the toolbox widget is they are very versatile. They fit any drawer. Uh, you can order as many as you like to fit from front to back or however you want to organize your drawer. It's very versatile. You can change the lengths of it. It's really nice. It, uh, not only that, but being versatile, it doesn't just hold screwdrivers either. It is very versatile in a lot of other tools, ratchets, picks, uh, little mirrors, uh, extensions. I mean, a lot of different tools are being able to be organized with this one screwdriver organizer. So that's really nice. 
and it is USA made and it also has a magnetic base as well, which I find to be strong enough to hold through drawer liners. The Con. I have never had an issue with this style organizer. I absolutely love this organizer, but the downside being is it can be pretty expensive. That is the con to it. And that is going to run $25 for an eight piece organizer. So that is the con to it. But if you're looking for a really good organizer, that's the one I would go with. And last but not least, the Olsa magnetic clip rail or just the Olsa style. There's a lot of other manufacturers that work, uh, produce something very similar. Uh, the clips vary and stuff like that. But you can get this in two different options. You can either get it with a magnetic backing, which seems to be pretty strong, or you can just get it with the, the mountable style rail where you actually can mount it to, uh, whether you have a workbench or anything like that, you can mount it to it so it doesn't end up coming off if that's what you're afraid of. The other great thing is it's supplied with a certain amount of clips, this one being 16, so you're gonna have 16 screwdriver organizers that are adjustable. So it is also versatile. You don't just have to organize screwdrivers. You can organize extensions, ratchets, uh, picks, things like that as well on this organizer. Plus you can spread those clips out so you can fit a lot of different objects on there and uh, it can be very, very handy. The con to that one is it is a clip style, so it does tend to be grippy on certain items. The bigger you go, obviously the tighter it could be and harder to get out of there. Uh, one thing I know with the magnetic, magnetic one is you just have to put your thumb on the clip and pull the screwdriver or whatever you're pulling out so the whole rail doesn't come off. That's the downside, but still the designs of all three of these are fantastic and can save a lot of space and keep you very well organized. Now, let's get into actually looking at the ones I have and how I use them. Also, that organizer is going to hold 16 screwdrivers like I stated and is going to run $24. So a dollar less than the toolbox widget, but it's going to hold 16 instead of eight. So you gotta weigh your options uh, as far as toolbox widget definitely being my favorite just for versatility and how great it is to lay it out in the toolbox. And then the also having the clip style where you gotta be careful if it's not permanently mounted, but it holds double. So it's just something you gotta weigh your options with, but those are my three picks. Let's get into this. So first up, with the gear wrench screwdrivers, I actually stayed with the organizer it came with because it is quite durable. I never move it, so it's durable sitting here and keeps everything really organized and they're really close together so they're not actually taking up a whole lot of space. So that is my first organizer I decided to stay with. I also have this. I don't have any of my screwdrivers up here except for the, the miniature screwdriver, but I did want to show its versatility. Uh, with other options as well. I have two rails here so I can put long extensions on here, ratchets, and it's just very versatile. You could put picks, screwdrivers, a lot of different options. And here's just kind of a close up of how those clips look and how you can slide them around on the rail. So that is one of the picks. And then next up being the toolbox widget where you can piece together whatever you want. You can add spacers like I did here. The first half is flathead screwdrivers. After this spacer, it's Phillips head screwdrivers and a pick. And then after that is all my Matco picks and uh, magnets, mirrors, and all that. So it's very, very nice and keeps everything really organized. And then I also have a few more down here which actually hold my 3 8 and half inch extensions for my impact and it actually holds them really well. So that's just another option. But those are the ones I have and how I keep my things organized. Once again, everything on here will be linked down in the description for you guys. So if you guys are interested, they're there for you. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts of these three or if you have any other suggestions. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please Subscribe. See you guys next time.